In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Welcome to the Minor Basilican Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavag in tonight's Simbang Gabi. God's messenger announces to Sikaraya that he will have a son. Sikaraya could not bring himself to believe this extraordinary news. The name given to the promised son is Yohanan or John, which means God is gracious. Indeed, the conception of John the Baptist is the manifestation of God's graciousness, which will reach its culmination in the birth of the Messiah. This glimpse of the messenger who will prepare the way of the Lord fills us with joy and gladness, for indeed salvation is so close. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously revealed the regions of your glory to the world, grant, we pray, that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation and always celebrate it with due reverence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zora, of the clan of the Danites, whose name was Manawa. His wife was barren and had borne no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no lesser shall touch his head. For this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, You will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up, and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord steered him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
your singular justice. Oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will. Please stand. O root of Jesus is stem, sign of God's love for all his people, come to save us without delay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abia. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly, but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Once when he was serving as priest in his division, stern before God, according to the practice of the priestly service, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then. When the whole assembly of the people was praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Because your prayer has been heard, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit of power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stands before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at their proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed 
that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he wasn't able to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Meron isang napakagandang dalaga na nagsiselebrate ang kanyang Dibo. Siyempre, nakahanda ang lahat. Kompleto. May kotilyon. Merong uh, 18 roses at cake. Nung tinanong siya kung ano yung wish niya sa kanyang birthday, sabi niya, secret. Pero sa kaloob-looban niya, ang sabi niya, sana makapag-asawa siya ng foreigner at makapagtrabaho abroad. Pagkatapos ng ilang taon, at the age of 25, eh, wala pang nang ligaw sa kanya na foreigner. Nakapagtrabaho abroad, Pero, single pa rin. Kaya nag-decide siya. Siguro, hindi talaga para sa akin ang foreigner. Kahit Pilipino na lang. Pero kailangan doktor siya. Upang mayaman. Ayan. Yun ang wish niya. After 25 years. Gusto niya kasi doctor Sabi niya, uwi na lang ako. Matagal na rin ako dito. At umuwi siya. Pagdating ng 30 years, aba, wala pa rin. Sabi niya, kahit engineer na lang, okay na sa akin. Mayaman din yun. After 30 years, 35 years, hanggang 40 years, tinitingnan niya ang kanyang muka sa salamin. Aba, may, may mga wrinkles na. Sabi niya, si Lord naman, tumatanda na ako eh, bakit wala pa rin nagkagusto sa akin eh, engineer na lang nga yung hinihingi ko Lord, sabi niya pwede ba kahit sino na lang kahit sino na lang yung wish niya siguro nag siya ng simpang gabi at sa simbang gabi na ito, sana matuloy na ang kanyang wish na kahit sino na lang. Basta mayroong manliligaw sa kanya. Mga kapatid, alam ko lahat tayo may inaasahan at inaasa sa ating buhay. We have hopes Observe the things that will happen in our life. Merong mga nagustuhan tayo na dapat mangyayari sa buhay natin. Habang tumatanda tayo, habang lumilipas ang panahon, merong tayo mga wish. 
at yung wish na yan ay inaasahan natin na maganap. Katulad nitong dalawang uh, babae dito sa ating uh, pagbabasa sa gabing ito. Sa unang pagbasa, si Manoa hindi lang pinangalanan ng kanyang asawa. Ang wish nila na magkaroon ng anak. Hanggang tumanda sila, wala pa rin nangyari. Sigurado, nagdasal sila. In His time, God came to their life. And God gives them Samson, one of the judges, to save Israel. That is the purpose. And here in our gospel, it is very touching. Bakit? Dito eh, mag-asawa, faithful, and very devoted to God, yet kulang ang kanilang buhay. Para sa mga Israelitas, ang isang babae, ang isang asawa na hindi makapagbigay ng anak o hindi makapanganak, eh, disgrace sa pamilya. Para bagang may penalty para sa kanya. May kasalanan. Kaya nakakahiya. Kaya ito yung desal nila. Ito yung desal nila. But they never, never say hopeless in their life. They keep on praying. And that is why when the angel appeared to Zechariah while he was fulfilling his duties at the sanctuary, the angel told him, Your prayer is answered. Answered prayer. And what is that prayer? That his wife, Elizabeth, will bear him a son. Nagulat si Sikaraya. Bakit? Nagduda siya. Yung hinihingi nila na magkaroon ng anak upang masave sa disgrace ang kanyang asawa, pinagdudahan pa. At bakit nagdududa siya? Eh, <laughs> Very realistic lang po si Sikaraya siguro. Sabi niya, sa tandang ko ito, sa tanda na ni Elizabeth, tuyo na, magkaanak pa kaya. So instead of accepting the announcement, the first annunciation of Angel Gabriel that his wife Elizabeth will bear a son, Gabriel told him, because you do not believe, I will make you speechless, mute, until the time when your son will be born. Ayan. Kaya naging baby siya. Hindi makapagsalita. Siguro, sabi ng anghel, ayaw ko yung reklamo, yung reklamador, yung dasal ng dasal, hingi ng hini, pagkatapos magre kung ano yung ibibigay sa kanya. I think this is a reality. Di ba? Kahit tanungin natin ng ating mga sarili kung bakit nandito tayo ngayon. Meron tayo inaasahan. Meron tayong mga wish sa ating buhay. Kaya lang pag tumagal, nagre-reklamo tayo. 
nagtatampo tayo sa Diyos. Inaaway pa natin ang Diyos. Hindi na tayo magsisimba. Hindi na tayo magdadasal. My dear friends, in His time, God made things beautiful in our life. In His time. Huwag natin pangunahan ng Diyos. Alam ng Diyos kung ano ang kagustuhan natin. Alam ng Diyos kung ano ang dapat ibigay sa atin. I think we have to reflect on what Elizabeth in the last part of our gospel said So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others Ito yung sinasabi ko in his time In his time God fulfilled his promise but that promise must be a promise that we hope for kasi hindi naman tayo aasa kung wala ang Diyos kung hindi tayo naniniwala sa Diyos kaya umaasa tayo sa buhay dahil na naniniwala tayo na may Diyos at ang Diyos lang po ang makapagbigay sa ating inaasa. Ang Diyos lang po din ang ating inaasahan. Kaya, pagkatapos nitong simbang gabi, kung hindi pa darating ang maniligaw nyo, kung wala pa mag-propose ng marriage, kung hindi pa Nabuntis o nagdadalan tao, huwag kayong magalit sa Diyos. Hintayin ang tamang panahon. In His time, God made all things beautiful in your life. We'll stand. The Almighty Father's generosity is immeasurable in due time. He will grant the aspiration of His people. With confidence, we implore Him, Father, be gracious to us. Father, be gracious to us. Did the Church, your beloved people, imbued by the Holy Spirit, may attain the proper disposition for the birth of the Savior this Christmas. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. That our government officials continue to uphold the dignity of every person, exhausting their means to promote peace and seek the well-being of their constituents. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. That parents may welcome children with love and responsibility and help them discover your will, O Father. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. That the Lord may bless married couples who, like Zechariah and Elizabeth, long for children to raise and love. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. That those who have gone ahead of us may find peace and eternal happiness, sharing in the joy of the Master's table. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, be gracious to us. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord, so that we may welcome our Savior with joy and gladness and may be true to you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look in favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we lay upon your altars, so what we bring despite our weakness may be sanctified by your power. To Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that we may find us what's for in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice might be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an ever eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession, your presence will rely for unfailing help. With this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity you pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all that your children scattered throughout the world. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Thank you. 
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but only, but only the word, say the word, and my, and my soul shall be held. Paalaala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
humbly, sister. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the gifts you have bestowed great in us, a desire for blessing yet to come, that we may welcome the birth of Christ our Savior with free and devoted hearts. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat sa inyong uh, panahon na makikisa sa ating uh, celebration sa gabi ito. At ibig ko rin pasalamatan yung mga sponsors natin na mga BEC at mga organization sa gabi ito. Maraming maraming salamat po at huwag tayo mawalan ng pag-asa. God is always with us and God will fulfill His promise to us. Ingat po tayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption. They have celebrated and grant it, its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We'll now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindly restore our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the own and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, Mules Rosaries, Images, Candles, Oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.